oftentimes, I think too often Christians can have a tendency to have a lapse in their faith or to, to start worrying overly too much because they're not seeing God deal with this situation right when they want it dealt with right now. Okay, God, you know, hey, where are you, God? You know, I just, I'm asking for you. I'm, I'm doing what's right. And especially when you know what's right, look, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. God will, God does hear you. And I'm not going to preach a whole sermon on, on having God hear your prayers. We've done that in the past. You know if you're walking, if you're not being chastened of the Lord, if you're not involved in any grievous, you know, sins and things where you're just being stiff-necked and rebellious, if, you're, if you know you've got a pretty good standing with the, with the Lord, you're, you're being open to correction, you're being, you know, you're, you're being humble, you're, you're listening, there's no reason at all why God is not going to be open to hearing you, especially in your times of need. We just have to understand that just because you don't, you may not see something immediately, you don't see something within 24 hours, that doesn't mean that God is not hearing you. And what, he, what he's, you know, in part of this prayer, or, or you know, this psalm, where, where, the, where you know, here's the psalm of David, is, is um, you know, kind of calling out unto the Lord. He says, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. So, Basically, he's just, he's just requesting, God, God, follow through, hear my prayer, and deliver, right? If God weren't to deliver, if God were just to be slack and just, and just completely just, oh, forget about it, then you'd be ashamed, right? That's why he's saying, don't let, don't let them be ashamed that are trusting on you. Those that are waiting for you, Lord, follow through. You know, just, just make sure that this gets done. And he says, let them be ashamed, which transgress without cause. You know, those people that just... They just transgress. They don't care about it. It's like, whatever. I don't care what God's laws are. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and transgress. Says, yeah, let, let them be ashamed. Let them be confounded, but not those that trust in you. And you know what? You won't be ashamed because the Lord will deliver you, though you may have to wait for it. And we could trust that and know that, that God will deliver us. And, and again, you know, there's different situations you may come across. Just, just stand fast. Don't let fear overtake you because of whatever may be coming your way, like what happened with King Saul. Right? King Saul, we're not going to turn there, but when, when he was faced with a, with a great battle and all the people were afraid, the, the, the armies of Israel were kind of splitting up and they're hiding in the, in the caves and in the rocks, and he's got the Philistines coming, and, and they're just they're in a, in a bad place, and especially him as a leader is in a really bad place. He's waiting for Samuel to show up. Samuel didn't get there exactly when he said he was going to get there, and he doesn't know what to do. And instead of waiting on the Lord, waiting for what's right, trusting, hey, God's going to fight our battles for us. Let me just wait a little bit longer. Let me just wait and see what God would have me to do. He takes matters in his own hands and ends up sitting, and it costs him a lot by not waiting on the Lord but deciding, nope, I have to do something about this. We need to have the faith to do what's right. And, and what he ended up doing, by taking, it's not that he just was like, well, I need to do something and did something that wouldn't be sinful. He actually sinned by offering up the sacrifice, which he was of the tribe of Benjamin. He was not of the tribe of Levi. That was not his job. It was not his position. Yes, he was king. No, he was not a Levite. No, he was not a priest. That offering up of the sacrifice was not his job, and it was definitely sinful for him to go ahead and take that job upon himself. You say, but he's offering a sacrifice unto the Lord. But he's not doing it the right way at all. He's being completely disobedient. And he was not ignorant of that fact either, by the way. He knew that it wasn't his job. 